Thanks Dow Strong for sponsoring this video. And this is the star of today's show. It is called Karubi Plate. Now you probably never heard of this name, but it's used in the meat industry. It is what most like to call beef belly. To be specific, an Australian Wagyu Marbling Score 5 beef belly. And today we're gonna transform this into the greatest bacon of all time. Now the first thing to do is to put this to brine. And to do that, we gotta make a quick brining mix. I first started with a good amount of salt, followed by brown sugar. Then I added peppercorn, followed by mustard seeds and coriander seeds. Now you wanna mix everything everything together until it's fully combined. That is what you're looking for. But if you don't want to add any spices, you can just stick with salt and sugar. As the next step is to apply all of it into the beef belly. Don't be shy, this thing needs it. It is a big piece of meat. As you can see, once I was done, every single edge was fully covered. As the next step is to bag it up, vacuum seal it, and it's now ready to brine in the refrigerator for five days. And that is perfect because it allows my friend Golden Balance to make an incredible side dish for us. Now this is guaranteed to please a crowd. And to make it, it's a lot easier than you think. And here's how. The first ingredient is this. A beautiful marbling score 9 brisket cut. I mean, take a look at the marbling of this cut. The perfect ratio of beef and fat. And slicing it up reveals even more beauty. Oh man. But he decided to go ahead and cut everything in small cubes. That is going to be perfect to be pan fried. And we're going to be using the fat to make an incredible traditional hummus. Talking about that, it is important to use real peas, not the canned stuff. These have been fully cooked and soaked over overnight. And everything just gotta be thrown into the food processor. Once the chickpeas went in, he added tahini, also known as sesame paste, followed by some lemon juice, garlic, ice cubes, finish it off with some salt, and process everything on high. Because in the end, all you have to do is put it on a steak plate, make a little well, as now it's time to pan fry those wagyu cubes. For that, they went into the pan with no oil whatsoever. He pan fried it in medium high heat. As it's rending down, it's gonna be perfect to go along with the hummus. And don't forget to season it with salt, nothing else. Because once you have reached a beautiful color, place everything right on top of the hummus. Now that is a side dish to please anyone. And I'll tell you one thing, I've had several hummus before. This one just hits different. So this is gonna be our side dish to go along with our beef bacon. Talking about that, by this time it was fully brined. So I went ahead and opened up the bag and immediately dunked into a water bath. You gotta remember there was a lot of salt in here, including sugar as well. But if we don't wash it right now, it's gonna be way too too salty. Do not skip this step. Once it was done, I took it out, pan it dry as much as I could, and this is what I was left with. I know it might not look like much, but you gotta remember, this is Wagyu. The only thing left to do now is to create a spice rub. So I combined black pepper, followed by some smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and mixed everything together. This is gonna be our spice rub to go right on top. When applying to the beef belly, make sure you coat everything. It's where a lot of the flavor from the crust is gonna come from, so I made sure to cover the whole thing. As now, the only thing left to do is to cook it. For that, I'll be smoking at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm looking for an internal temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that's done, I'll be taking some beautiful slices, but most importantly, making an incredible BLT sandwich for us to try. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time for us to make some beef bacon. So let's do it. Does that look good or what? And before trying it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Dow Strong. If there's one important tool that you need to use in your kitchen, it is the knife. Can you see my background? Yes, I'm obsessed with knives. So when I tell you this is a quality craftsmanship, I mean it. Dowstrong has quality knives that will fit any budget. But if you think the only thing they have is knives, you are so wrong. If you hold one of the cookwares on their hand, you can tell the quality. Not only does it cook the perfect food, but it makes me look good cooking it. They also have some epic stuff because their design team are just insane. I mean, take a look at this. What do I call this? The Thor hammer? No, let's call it the Google hammer. Which other knife company have you seen do stuff like this? I'm not joking, freaking samurai sword, everybody. Come on, man. Honestly, they have everything you need and way more. And I could not be more proud that Dow Strong is a part of this channel. And if you guys are interested in getting anything, I highly recommend you checking out the link in the description. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Thank you once again, Dow Strong, for sponsoring this video. But now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful feast. My brother Ahmad from the Golden Balance. Thank you so much for making the hummus. My pleasure. I have a problem with hummus. 
uh, they already know I'm a little bit addicted. You know what I mean? I I, I can't eat this whole thing by myself. It's and sad. Do, I, I know, right? It's a little sad. <laughs> no, you you were, you were messing up that play a little early. Guys, you didn't know that, but he had to fix it already <laughs> twice. All right. So here's the deal. We got the beef bacon here. I want to know if it tastes good, better, or ugly. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go for it. Let's dig in. All right. Cheers, everybody. Bismillah. Wow, that's so good. So it's salty, smoky, mm -hmm. and at the same time, a little chewy. That's mm. a bite. The the fact that everything else is plain is perfect because the beef bacon carries this whole thing. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely got the flavor that is the boldest. Yeah. It almost feels like a brisket. But it is a little bit salty. And when you put it together with the mayo and everything together, it mellows it out. Exactly. It's fantastic. Can we acknowledge that this is a BLT? What is that? <laughs> BT, baby. <laughs> uh, this is some good protein right here. <laughs> So apparently you don't like Protein lettuce and fat. or tomatoes. No. Okay. So yeah. how is just the bacon and the bread? Delicious. The you should have had it like this. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Highly recommend. You have beef bacon. You never had it. It's easy. Amazing. Not a big deal. Right? We made it together. <laughs> Not a big deal. You just got to put a little bit of time because it does take five days to get the cure all mm -hmm. going. You know what I mean? But besides that, delicious. It's worth it. Okay. Enough. Almost. Yes, let's go for it. I'm excited. Okay. Now, the funny thing is that he made it for me, and I, as you guys know, I had to try it on camera, but he haven't tried it. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm excited for the Wagyu. I know, right? Yeah. So, this usually, usually hummus is made with just the chickpeas, the spread, and then there's a little bit of olive oil. But there is an appetizer in the Middle East. We put a little bit of lamb fat, we melt it down, put a little bit of lamb chunks, and then when it's just sizzling and beautiful like we did, we went all over that hummus, and it's a little bit more hearty, and it's a lot more fatty, but it's fantastic. Hey. So, this time we use some Wagyu. Marbley scores seven Australian brisket. Amazing. Enough. Let's, let's give, give it a try. It. Let's give it a all try. All right, let's go for it. Go. Dig in. Look at that. That's a that, bite. That's the perfect that's scoop. That's a bite right there. You know what I mean? You got to get a little bit of the brisket. Let's give it a shot. And then, smells delicious. Oh, he oh you went, already? Wait, oh, so he quick. don't play right, around. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, the brisket just melts. I can eat this whole thing every single day. Tangy, mm -hmm. creamy. That's the thing. What was the secret about the creaminess? You were telling me. The ice cubes. The ice cubes. A couple ice cubes in there. Mm -hmm. It just keeps it nice and cool. Mm -hmm. It kind of emulsifies it in and it slowly melts with the blade. It just makes it amazing. Again, this is absolutely addicting. I highly recommend you giving it a try. Mm -hmm. You got the Google Food shirt. There you go. I'm now you're certified. presenting. You no go. more golden balance. He has changed to here. He's going to be chef. here every day now. <laughs> my, new, my new co worker. Mm. Google sous chef. I don't mind. <laughs> we need a bunch of delicious food. There you go. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go check out the Golden Balance right now. He's not only a good friend, but this boy can cook. Go check him out, everybody. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.